but that didn't take too long after that fish we just lost. I think it's another little one, but it's a good sign that they're coming to the feed. It's got him under the rod tip. Yeah, he's a nice little F1. I know you've seen me at the minute catch these last three fish clipped up in the same spot and if um if they do keep coming like that I probably will stay clipped up in that spot but don't be afraid if it's not quite going your way to to unclip or even take your clip off and cast around your peg. Fish sit in little pockets in different areas. It's not always all about being 100 percent accurate casting. And there he is nice little fish. Still got some life in him. Slip the hook out. And we'll pop him back. There's another fish. Stayed on that same spot. Really, really good bite this time. Almost had to catch my rod as it flew off the rest. Don't think it's particularly massive again. It's these little fish are just so quick, and one of the best things about them is they're willing to feed all year round. Just want to get down the edge there. Well, from the looks of it, the banjo is definitely doing the business at the moment. What a great little scrap that was. Such a solid fish. Nicely hooked again. A few of these definitely out there now. Getting a lot more liners than that. Lots of signs, there's a few fish there. Really good. Let's get back out there. I'm going to just try briefly changing a few hook baits around, different colours, different sizes. Maybe that will bring a bigger fish or a slightly quicker bite. Always trying to work out and improve what you can do to make it better. Go over pink pellet. And exactly the same, fill your mould up and you're back fishing. Well, the pink pellet seems to work. Weren't waiting too long for that bite at all. Another nice fish. Still see the pink bait hanging out of his mouth. I'm quite big on the visual mark in winter. Something for them to really attack and home in on. I can see that pellet from here, it's almost glowing. There he is. Pellet out of his mouth. That I was talking about.
another fish on now. Another good bite. I'm just sort of ringing through the changes in the colours at the moment. The fish are coming quite quick now. Probably had a good 15 of these F1s and we haven't been fishing that long really. Been some great action. Starting to rain a little bit heavier, but it's not putting them off. Beautiful little fish. Got so much energy in them. Lovely little fish to put a weight together. Real good competing shoal fish these. If you can get a few of these in your swim, you know you're in for a good day. Let's keep going. If you catch these all day long, never get bored of it. Different colour will go for yellow. In a minute, it hasn't really made anything too much different. I mean, everything we've used seems to have caught fish. The brighter colours may be a little bit quicker so there's something to take away visual but you could do this on another day and you only find you'll catch on one particular colour that's why it's so important to even change what you are catching. You know, I could have stayed on what I started on and I'm sure I would have caught fish just as quick but you don't always get days where it's going to be the case. You have to work a bit harder sometimes. Get that line sunk. See what happens this time. Well, I think this is another little F1. Good bite again. Steamed off and slowly getting him back. I think I probably will make this the last fish. It's been a great morning's fishing. Although it's been extremely cold. And the first proper frost of the year. The action has been great. And that's a lovely little fish to finish on. Just one of many of the F1s we've caught here today. Lovely little fish. Let's get him back to the others. Well, thanks for watching the latest episode. Hope some of the tips you've seen today will help you in your own fishing and you find them useful in these colder mums. Not had many big fish today, but it's not what it's about, especially this time of year, to come and catch fish from start to finish like we have today. It's a real tribute to this fishery, really. I'd like to say a big thanks to Sarah for letting us come down here again. And if you haven't already fished Barford and you fancy giving it a go, check out the website address below. But for now, I think it's time for me to go home, get warm, and watch your football. We'll see you again soon.